Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kay Kaltoff and you are at a stamp and chat with Kay. My blog is stamping to share and I'm very excited to be here because my kit to go this month is the sweet ice cream bundle and I have eight cards in it two each of four designs and I have different levels that you can purchase. So if you already have the bundle, you know, maybe just get the basic kit. If you need the bundle and decide that you want to relive some of those ice cream memories of your past, my husband and I, we had our first date at Dairy Queen. <laughs> so this is a pretty great bundle for me. Um, you can get the deluxe kit to go for 85 uh, and that includes your your bundle and of course all the card setups. If you're one of my downline members from Creative Crafters Stamping to Share, you can get all of the setups for 20 and that includes your shipping. So it's very fun. It's very a very fun kit and I know a lot of people will enjoy it because I have a fun fold in that kit and I have a shaker card in that kit. The last day to sign up, let me check the calendar, is April... April 12th, so on Monday, April 12th is the last day to get signed up for that. You can always find the sign up link at my blog. I'm going to show it to you in case you don't know where that's at. It's www.stampingtoshare.com. And once you're there, or even if you're here on Facebook, you can just send me a um, an email or you know let me know you're interested then I'll send you the registration link so that's kind of how that goes and you can customize your kit too so if you want to get something different than what I'm offering you can customize your kit all right so I'm going to start by letting you know that in April there is a kit from Stampin Up called the paper pumpkin kit and it is going to feature cards and a stamp set that are going to coordinate beautifully with the sweet ice cream bundle. So just to give you an idea of what paper pumpkin cards are like, I have completed a couple of cards from the March kit to go. These were more of a masculine theme, kind of nature -y, and oh my gosh, they were so beautiful. I'm so glad I got that kit to go because I'm going to show you what they look like. So this is the first one and isn't it something? Isn't it beautiful? I love it. There's so much raised detail on here with dimensional. So when you're holding it in your hand, it really comes alive with all of the different um, raised details with with the Stampin' Dimensionals. I love Stampin' Dimensionals. I, I never feel quite calm unless I have about 10 packs on hand. All right. And here is another one. This was a birthday card. And again, this is this was made up just exactly the way Stampin' Up! told us to make it up in the kit to go. They provide step-by-step -step instructions. So here it is. So the last day to sign up to get the So Cool kit, the, the, the kit that's going to coordinate with the sweet ice cream bundle, the last day to sign up is April 10th. So you don't want to miss that if you want to get a kit that coordinates. So I love these cards, and I'm so glad I'm a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. And sometimes it's just fun to, to do something that you don't have to think about. You just open the box and start creating. That is such a bonus. It's also very portable, so I love taking it with me. Um, I'm one of these people, I don't like to travel without stamps. So I take my Paper Pumpkin kits with me. And that way, when the family's all like playing some poker game or something that I am probably not participating in, I can sit there and craft while they're all goofing around. Okay, so I am going to show you now the card we're making today, which looks like this. And you'll notice that the little sprinkles are very precisely placed on those ice cream cones. So I'm very excited to share with you how to do that. Um, you do want to have your take your pick tool when you're using this idea, but it just really works out great. So I'm going to flip the camera down now and show you all of the different goodies that uh, I've prepared in order to create this, um, these couple of cards we're making today. So again, here are the cards. Maybe I can hold it close enough that you can see all those little sprinkles on there. Aren't they cute? They just make the card. And then the inside of the card looks like this. We're going to do a little punching. So a very cute birthday card to treat yourself. Uh, maybe want to do a little uh, 
you know, gift card or something to Dairy Queen. Then we are also going to be using, of course, the sweet ice cream bundle. And I use the stamp and a stamp and cut and emboss machine with two retiring die sets. I know, I just am a little shocked myself, but we have the layering ovals here, which will soon be going away. I don't even know if they're still available. I hope they are. And then also the stitched uh, shapes. So kind of sad to see those go, but I'm sure Stampin' Up! will come out with something even better because they always do. Then we are using the Sweet Ice Cream Corner Designer Series paper. Oh, just scrumptious. And our color combo for this card is Bermuda Bay, Basic White, and Terracotta Tile. Now the Terracotta Tile ink pad and the Terracotta Tile ink refill are already sold out but I believe the paper is still available. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we are going to do is get our card base set up here. So I have Bermuda Bay. It's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I'm going to take my bone folder and just make that, that fold area a little bit more defined. So that's that. And then we have our inside panel. So this is four by five and a quarter. And we're gonna go ahead and do some stamping on that and then we'll set that into the card and have that out of the way. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our Bermuda Bay ink pad and we are going to stamp happy birthday at the top since I am making these birthday cards. If you want to get in on the drawing that I'll be doing hopefully sometime within the next week, um, be sure to share this video or you can also comment on it and let me know where you're watching from and maybe one of your favorite ice cream memories growing up. Now, I am going to be punching out a couple of things with uh, scraps of designer series paper, but I know I'm going to have that cone at the very bottom here. So I'm going to make some uh, little sprinkle things and I'm just going to stamp off so that I get some lighter sprinkles going through here. So I am using second generation stamping. So let's go ahead and do the exact same thing on this one. So that second generation stamping just means stamp it off once. So that's what I'm doing on the scrap paper and then just putting a little a little line of sprinkles here. And I can adjust that depending on where that ice cream cone goes. So I'm going to leave my stamp pad here and I'm going to leave my sprinkles out in case I need them. So what I'm gonna use next is my ice cream builder punch. And I am going to grab some, whoa, I just dropped everything on the floor. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna do a desk dive. Just hang on everybody. Somehow, the envelope that I keep things in was upside down in my container. So when I pulled it out, everything just went flying. Oh, goodness. All right, so here we have some really pretty toppers to our ice cream cone. So I'm just going to go in here with the side of my punch. And there's one topper because I want it to kind of match everything. And then I'm going to go in, actually, let me grab a scissors here. With our builder punches, you often need to clip away the things, the pieces that, that don't allow you in. So I think I'm gonna go over here. There we go, there's our second one. Okay, so we have that part done. Then we need to take and get some cones. So I'm gonna flip this around and we're going to punch out some cones. Now, if you're getting my kit to go, you will be getting a lot of punch outs in your kit to go. Just makes it easier for everybody. Not so much for me, but for all of you. All right, so here we go. We've got our little cone. Oh, isn't that cute? So I'm just gonna go ahead and see where this is lining up. So I'm gonna share with you how I put my cones together. Why don't I do that first? I just take a little piece of tape drop that on and then I turn it around and I add my, my little ice cream topper right over the top. 
And just like that, my cone is set together. How simple is that? And then I can kind of move it around on my papers to decide exactly where I want it. So just like so. Oh, that looks great, except I want a few more sprinkles towards the top. Just like that. Okay, then I can flip it around. I'm going to take some multi-purpose liquid glue and we're going to put this one into place. Just tilt it over here on the edge so it looks like this. How fun is that? I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I think I just need more sprinkles, so I'm gonna add some more. And once again, we're going to take our multi-purpose liquid glue, add a little to the back, and set this in coming up from the corner. Perfect. Now we'll add this to the inside panel of our card and we'll have the inside panel complete. So let me grab some stamp and seal. We'll open up the card and set this in. Oh, so lovely. Do the same thing over here. Oh, it's just darling. Just the cutest set. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside because now we have some other things that we're going to work on. Actually, we're not going to set them aside because we're gluing right onto these panels. I just have to grab my big messy pile here. All right, so now you're going to see that the front of our card, we have some strips here that are going to go down along with some ice cream panels. So the ice cream panels I cut at three and a half by five and a quarter. And the strips are one half inch by five and a quarter. So what this means is when you put the two together, you end up, and what this is how I put them together, maybe I'll move this so you can see better, is I flip it over to the back side, then I just make sure that everything is lined up perfect grab some scotch tape again and we're just setting this in that way when I put it onto the front of my card look at that it ends up being a four by five and a quarter inch panel and it works perfect so this is ready to go on so I'm going to again use some multi-purpose liquid glue and just glue this down how's that for a great little tip today you can save a little bit by not having to glue it onto a separate panel and then putting that panel onto your card. There we go. And now we are, we're gonna do the exact same thing to this one. So we're gonna flip it over, scooch those together, add a little scotch tape. There we go. And it looks great. So now we can again take this panel and add some multi-purpose liquid glue all the way around. And then just set this right on the front of your card. So easy peasy. And just like that, we have really a pretty beautiful and decorated card. Okay, I, I keep putting the scrap paper away and then I realize I need it. All right, so this Oh, here we go. I did lose a couple of ovals on the floor, um, but I just found a couple of extras that I had. So here's what we're going to be stamping next. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is put the sprinkles on first. So once again, we're stamping off and then stamping on, stamping off, stamping on, just a little, um, just a little background for your sentiment. So stamp off, stamp on, off and on. Then we're going to put our sentiment on. So I've, again, I'm going to get the treat yourself and I've got this ready to go. Just ink this up, it's a photopolymer stamp. So uh, maybe I have to bring this in a little closer so I can see what I'm doing. But you just stamp that right onto your oval. Perfect. Do the same thing over here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add these ovals to 
our center panels here. So now you might be wondering, Kay, what ovals, where did you get these again? Well, these have a stitch shape around them, so I used the second largest one, counting from the center. So not the smallest, but the next one. So that's my terracotta tile stitched shape oval. The other one is from the layering ovals, and this is the smallest one over here. So I'm using a straight edge, and I am I use the second biggest again. So that one is from this one right here. All right, so now to put this on, I'm going to use some stamp and seal. And then I'll just put it right here, right into the center of that oval stitching. And the same thing over here. And then, boy, we're very close to getting our card complete with the exception of the sprinkles, which I know you're very excited to learn about how to do. So then I'm going to flip these over, add some dimensionals. And I want these to be really, really sturdy. So I'm going to add four dimensionals so it doesn't flop around. And then we'll put these on our card and then we'll do the sprinkles. All right, so let's bring the card back in. And we're gonna put this down in the lower right corner so that your right side and your bottom is at about the same distance. And do the same thing over here. That looks so great. Now, time for sprinkles. So what we wanna do first is, we want to take our multi-purpose liquid glue and we are going to put very tiny, tiny little dabs wherever we want a sprinkle to live. So I'm just kind of randomly putting them here and there. And I'm only doing it pretty much on the full ice cream cones. I do want one here because it's so nice and close to the sentiment here. So it kind of acts as a nice little accent. Um, so I put one, two, three, four, five sprinkles. That's probably enough for that card. And then we're gonna do the same thing. So we just we just take our multi-purpose liquid glue and we just add the tiniest little dot, just like this. And I know you can't really see this very well. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. That's probably enough for that one too. So I will see if we can, I think this, um, let me grab my multi-purpose tool here. I think you can probably see how small this dot is right here where the white glue kind of shows up on this ice cream cone. That's how small of a dot you want to use with your multi-purpose liquid glue. That's all the bigger you need. That's all, all you need to do. Then to place, to place your little uh, ice cream sprinkles, what I do is I shake just a few into the cap so that I have just a few like this that I'm going to be working with. And then I don't really worry about color, just whatever I happen to grab is what goes onto the card. And so then you just take them off. And another thing you can do is if your fingers are a little big like mine, another thing you can do is take your little pick piece off back here, just in case your fingers are sprinkle or are sticky. This is a good little tip. So you're grabbing one of the little sprinkles. You're going over to where the glue dot is and you're taking your take your take your pick and that kind of pulls it away from the take your pick tool so it stays where it needs to be on your um on your card. You don't have to be super fast at doing this. Um, 
You don't need to worry, whoops. You don't need to worry about it drying because when it dries, it actually kind of dries like a mini glue dot. So it really works out great. So again, I'm just gonna grab here another one. And I think we just had five per card. So I think this one finishes it up. There we go. So we got this card complete and it's just so cute with those little extra accents on the card front. So now we're going to do this one. And you can see, I just pick it up and I put it down. And then I use the other end of the take your pick tool to hold it in place so that I can release it onto the ice cream cone. And one more here. Oh no, two more. There we go. So this one is done with five cute little sprinkles. It just adds so much to the card, I love it. Then, before you forget, and the kitty jumps up on your table, be sure you close up your sprinkles. All right, and then put your tool back together. All right, now let me show you the completed cards. There we go. Be sure to check out my blog right here, www.stampingtoshare.com before April 12th. So you can be part of my sweet ice cream kit to go. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.